Welcome to this episode of On The Bench. I'm your host, Nick Smith. With me today is the inevitable Rick Paleo, application engineer for JBNA. Hi, everybody. Today, we've got something exciting to talk about, and hopefully it puts a little spark in your creativity. It is the New Tech Spark. So we've got it in the office. We're gonna show you what it looks like. So of course, we're gonna put it on the bench and see what's inside. All right, everybody, here it is today. We're covering the Spark from New Tech. Rick, what is the Spark? The New Tech Connect Spark is a small device that's gonna take your HDMI or SDI baseband video signal coming out of your existing cameras and flip it into a nice clean NDI signal that'll go into your TriCaster and more. Okay, so if you didn't cover one of our earlier shows or didn't get the chance to watch them, NDI is a network protocol for video on your switch. So using your existing network to transmit video, and this is low latency, beautiful looking quality video that's designed for live production or live viewing of media. And the Spark is one of the ways to get your content onto the network. So what's in this particular box? Let's look at it. Right away, we see we've got, this is the HDMI version, so we've got mm -hmm. an HDMI loop out. We also have an audio input and loop out. Most importantly, we've got an ethernet jack because of course, we're getting this on the network. But this one has one extra feature, which I like, which is wireless. So we don't necessarily have to have the ethernet connection if the camera is remote or your source is not near the network, but it's near Wi-Fi. we've got the ability to extend that signal. Maybe it's in the parking lot, maybe it's you know somewhere else, but we don't have to be constrained by the network cable at this point. So it gives you a lot of control. Something else though, USB ports. So what are the USB ports for? Recording. So we've got the ability to record on board um, via a couple of SD cards or mm -hmm. USB cards, but there's also the micro SD slot, um, which gives you the ability to record to a micro card. Now, what I like about the recording on this is that it's always on. Once you turn the unit on and there's a card present or a memory stick present, it starts recording right away. If somebody unplugs the power and it powers back up, it starts recording right away. So there's sort of a fail safe there to ensure that we get our signal, um, even if something goes wrong on that side. Cannot have enough backup recordings during live production. Definitely not, absolutely not. So we've got local recording, we've got the new tech recording you know, on the other side at the TriCaster, you've got Wi-Fi, you've got Ethernet, you've got HDMI or SDI. There's a lot going on here. How else is this accessed? So the one of the other cool features about it is that it has built in a web GUI. Now, uh, this web GUI, one, first of all, it allows you to see the output, or you can see the input that's coming into it. Uh, uh, you can check the bandwidth, make some adjustments to it, and there's an administrative mode. So we can identify it, check the hardware version, check the firmware version. You can set ethernet settings. So on both the uh, ethernet connection and the Wi-Fi, right out of the box, you power it up, and it is, it is DHCP enabled. So that means it's immediately available to you. However, if you choose to go static IPs, you can set those IPs and lock it down always have your connectivity a nice solid connection. Well, that makes it important if you're moving it from facility to facility or building to building or it's moving around, you don't have to go search for it on the network. You always know where that is. You know is. exactly where okay, it is. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, the good part about this is it's not expensive either. So the HDMI version is $499. The SDI version is $799. It's a very inexpensive way to get an NDI signal onto your network. Um, if you're just adding a camera to your TriCaster or if you're using somebody else's switcher like a uh, Panasonic or Telestream. They all support NDI on several of their units now, and this gives you the ability to get NDI into that system and expand your production. Where else will this work? Now, the great part about this is that, again, the most important thing is you're taking your quality cameras, existing cameras that you have, but now you could take that high quality image and apply it to other solutions, such as GoToMeeting, Hangouts, Google Hangouts, Skype, Skype for Business, WebEx, this turns it into, this takes your camera and your baseband video, flips it into 
NDI signal that now just expands it well beyond live production. So this is a video conferencing bridge inevitably, right? So we're yep. taking high quality production level video, bridging that into the, you know, the video conferencing environments out there or uh, training environments and allowing you to have good quality video there. And that's so, what we're all looking for. That's absolutely okay. So that's the spark. I hope, like I said before, this sparks a little creativity in your production world this year. Um, it's available now in both SDI and HDMI versions. If you have any more questions, give us a call. But other than that, that was On the Bench for the day. Thanks much.